Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, your coach in data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you another method among metric criteria decision making methods. And uh, this method is called objective optimization on the basics of ratio, ratio analysis MORA. Remember, in the previous video, I have uh, shown many methods like weighted sum mod model, weighted product model, evaluation based on distance from average solution, meet objective optimization on the basis of simple ratio analysis, technique for order preference by similarity to ideal solution, preference selection index method. All these methods are among the criteria decision making methods which have been developed by researchers so as to help in decision making. Now friends, I'm going to show you step by step how you can use this method so as to make a, a, to make a better selection among your low alternatives based on multiple criteria. I, I will sh show you step by step how you can use this method. What you can know is, is that this method uses mainly three methods. The first, method, the first thing you have to do is to make matrix normalization. And the way we will make matrix normalization is the same as in Mostra, where we use the root of the sum of square of our values. And the, second, the next step is to make um, weighted matrix which means multiplying normalized matrix with the weight and then we make summation of beneficial criteria and summation of uh, non-beneficial criteria and then we make the difference between the sum of beneficial criteria and the sum of non-beneficial criteria and this is allows us to calculate the, the assessment values and and alternatives will be ranked based on assessment value, which is the difference between the sum of beneficial criteria minus uh, non-beneficial criteria. I'm going, I'm going to show you how you can use this method step by step. Okay, friends, now I'm going to use the same decision matrix which has the problem of car selection. Now, if you have uh, watched my previous videos, but you have seen that I'm working on the same uh, matrix, this allows us to compare the method to see whether there can be difference in decision based on one method or another method. That's why we are working on the same uh, decision matrix. Remember, uh, in the previous videos, we have uh, shown that all methods used, all those six method, methods used, have same result, have proposed five cards to be bought in our, our case. Now we are going to see if this method, Mora, will be also suggest us to buy this card. Okay, friends, now we are going to, to begin with uh, normalization process. Okay, friends, now we are going to, um, to raise this all this value to the power of two. We are going to raise the, this, all this value to the power of two. So uh, then we make the summation and then we will calculate the uh, square roots so as to find the value which will help us to make a data normalization. Now, friends, I um, go with making to, uh, raising the to the power of two or our values. As I'm working in Excel, I will, you will have to follow our way I'm doing so as to be able to do the same. Now, as you see, friend, this value is raised to the power of two, and then I will make a copy of or in all or for all criteria. The next thing is to calculate the sum of all this value. This is a function which is in Excel. Well, because I'm using Excel, this is the function it's a sum. Now I calculate the sum of this. Now I can make copy of this uh, formula uh, in all um, rows or for all criteria. Now the next thing is to make the square root of this value, this sum. The next thing is to calculate the square root of this sum that I had calculated because I'm using English uh, French computer now the function is Racine but you have to, cho to choose the equivalent function in English version 
now you see here i copy this formula now now i have calculated for the first uh, uh, criteria i can copy the, this formula until the end of my criteria okay now okay friends this is the the route which will help me to make our matrix uh, normalization because i will take each value divided by all these routes i have created for all criteria Okay, friends, now I'm going to make a uh, decision matrix normalization by taking all each value divided by by the roots. Like this, I could take this value, divide it by the roots here, this root. Okay, friends, this from this value, this root must be fixed so as to, make, to let me copy the formula in all values now i can just copy the formula now, friends i can copy this formula down okay now i have our decision matrix normalized the thing is to multiply each value by the, the weight I multiply this value this value multiplied by this value and so on okay friends now uh now uh this i'm going to do is uh, what we call weighted normality matrix so now friends i'm going to calculate the weighted normality matrix by taking each value multiplied by the weight like this this value multiplied by the weight but this must be fixed like this i'm going to make a copy of this formula in all Laws. Now I could drag down the formula. The thing is to calculate the difference between the sum of the sum of beneficial criteria, the sum of the this this criteria minus the sum of non beneficial criteria. Now, as you can see here, friends, beneficial criteria are under the quality, condition, and security, but non beneficial criteria, criteria are dead delivery days, fuel consumption, and the price. Now, I'm going to make, uh, now we look, look, friends, now I'm going to make a summation of these values for beneficial criteria, like this, minus now this is the sum of beneficial criteria minus sum of non beneficial criteria like this now i close the parentheses i press enter i can drag the formula down i can use the function rank 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 this value rank this matrix which must be fixed so matrix must be fixed like this and then i press in then i can drag the formula down uh, and i can highlight the, the value let me highlight the value like this. i need only one of value and i can do the same here but i, I need the, the smallest value you see i uh, choose the the 10 values the, the 10 smallest value but i can change the color here and i put one i press enter now i finish now as conclusion you see friends i can the the, the best car which is a, a suggested by this method is, is always car five car five is suggested by all method weighted sum model weighted product model evaluation based on distance from average solution meet, meet objective optimization on the basis of sim, simple rational analysis technical for all the preference by similarity to ideal solution preference selection index and meet objective optimization on the basis of operational analysis 
Okay, friends, this is the end of my presentation. If you like this video, you can share it and you can also like it. And you can, I invite you to subscribe to my channel so as not to miss any of my video, which can help you to in, improve your, your competence in management. 